In this video, I will show you that how to run a PHP 5.6 in a Docker. So I uh, Google about this, but I found uh, so many a huge Docker file, which doesn't make any sense. For now, I created small Docker file to give you a better understand how to, you can run a PHP 5.6 in uh, in a Docker. So in the backend, it will be on Apache server not engines so if you want to run engines so you need to change something for now you can run with the docker file for now you have to run php 5.6 in apache server so uh, let's look at the application this is my uh, a simple application okay so now as you can see uh, maybe if, if, if you know php a little bit you can understand that this is a, a coordinator application okay let me show you the docker file when i show you, show you the docker file you will understand that what's happening here okay okay now as you can see from php 5.6 apache it means it will uh, download an image from docker hub which is php 5.6 embedded with apache now it will copy all the files and folders to this directory var html which we know that this is apache uh, default hosting path and then run apt-get update for update on the docker container and apt-get install uh, minus y open ssl so this is a package zip unzip git so you need to uh, install uh, these four packages so now then run docker php ext install pdm stream and so what is this thing um, manually what you do you just enable uh, install the mb stream and the pdo mysql extension uh, for php so uh, this is actually happening here okay it will install this uh, mystery mysql pdm mysql and also enable in a php.ini file okay so that's it that's a simple thing you have to do now okay now just type docker as you know build minus p uh, give me a name like php mm -hmm dot one this is a tag and dot because i am this directory okay hit the enter now it's uh building the image for you as you can see it's downloading uh, PHP 5.6 apache from docker hub in the next step we can see it is copying all the application files to this directory okay let it copy okay now as you can see it's updating and installing all these uh, packages okay okay now it is done successfully built okay. as you can see if i now docker image images so there's a two image one is pc 5.6 which is created two years ago mm -hmm. and, uh, and now this is your image the latest image which is created 13 seconds ago and this is a huge uh, okay so you need to run only this image not this one but uh, don't remove this image uh, maybe it's corrupted or i don't know but don't remove that the image and run this image so docker run minus dit for run this container in a background and minus p um, apache by default port is 80 and then 80 80 so and the image you can put the image id copy and paste it uh, i think that's it right <coughs> okay hit the enter okay. uh, docker ps 
okay now it's running as you can see and my uh, this is my local computer and uh, so as you can see uh, the local IP is 192.168.0.120 let's open it from browser so in the browser 192.168.120 so as you can see it's working fine thank you for watching